personally for me there's a lot of pride there as well um like i sat here yesterday and, and spoke about being brave and being courageous and like i think we did that extremely well um and i said to dolly before we went out like we want to do it for you and i think i think he would be proud of us and the way we performed it's just unfortunately we we're on the wrong side of the result i think we we're the better team uh, for the majority of that game it's just uh, our next step now is we've got to win those matches how tough is it to take those chances you're left behind because you created plenty of them uh, yeah, it's pretty tough. Um, we've been penalised within a metre of the line three times. Um, it's, it's, yeah, it's tough to take. I think you look at the game and we certainly had more chances. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's pretty good. What did you say to the boys 14 points down from your own post? Because the game could have got away from you there and then, but the response was good for them. It's just next job. Like, we need to go through a punch. So that's what we went and did. I think is yeah. The answer to that question is yes and no. I think because we performed well, it's getting that we lost, but also um, I'm proud of it as well as as a team. I think it's been our our best performance rugby wise and for a lot, for a wee while, um, and we were looking to build on that from now. Um, certainly going into next week, we're we're confident that we can we can blow Argentina away. When did you think it started to turn? Um, it's hard to identify like one one point in the game. Um, yellow card probably put us under the pump a wee bit down in our half, but it's nobody's fault in particular. Um, yeah, I need to watch it back to be honest. Jamie, do you think you guys lacked a little bit of patience at times towards the goal Um, I think we got on a few phases before we got pinged, uh, so patience, I don't know. Uh, I think the the thing we spoke about afterwards um, is that the space was probably slightly wider, so we could have moved the ball. Um, but it's, those, the, those are the small moments in games that, are, that become massively important, like staying on your feet at the breakdown or not giving guys who are world-class over the ball opportunities within a metre of their line because they're going to go for it. Cause, um, yeah, well, you don't want them to just to score, do you? All right, thank you. Cheers, guys. Thanks. Gregor, Julie was saying there, mixture of disappointment, but also pride in the performance. Does that chime with how you're feeling right now? Yeah, mainly disappointment. Disappointment that we don't get to play New Zealand every couple of years like we used to. It's been five years. That'll be the biggest lead we've ever had against New Zealand in our history, and we didn't get the win. What do you think was the, the main reason you couldn't go over the line? You obviously got yourselves in a fantastic position. You mean over the try line or, or to, get the the to get the win? Yeah, well, a couple of times we were getting over the try line. Um, the, one, the one in the first half um, was was really good play by them, I think. Um, Sevilla's Jackal just timed that well, but we could have shifted that ball a little bit wider. Um, the one in the second half was a bit bad luck that we made a, a really good break, and just the way the offload went to Ali, the defence got got the advantage. Um, obviously, there was Darcy's one, which is millimetres away from um, from a try as well. So, so those three occasions, you you, you increase your lead, but we we scored twenty three points to nil during a, a fifty minute period. So. That's that, those those margins you have to kick on and win. You have to see out the win, and we didn't do that today. You, you must be heartened though that the way you came back from fourteen 0 down. A lot of teams in that position against the All Blacks, there is no way back. You must have been. Yeah, that was great. I think the the calmness the players showed, and also sticking to to what they'd worked during the week and um, playing with energy, showing their skill individually, um, both set piece wise. Line it was outstanding. Uh, Scrum. There was obviously a call with a crucial call um, later on in the game, but um, I felt set piece um, and what we're doing attack and defence after that period was was excellent. But uh, we're nine points up and we we control a a fair bit of um, the destiny in the in that last fifteen twenty minutes. Um, 
football that New Zealand are going to come back into it. They're a very good team, but it's a couple of errors from us that um, allowed them to get better field position, allowed them to get penalties. No, we um, there was a uh, look. There's a couple of errors when uh, I think they they kicked a goal. I can't remember whether it, the line of mall that got held up um, was before or after that. We did have a, a scrum penalty. We didn't feel the high ball, um, so the, the, I didn't feel they were doing anything different than they'd done for for 40 minutes, and we were containing them. Uh, felt our management of when to play and when to kick was excellent. Our chase was outstanding, but we let them back in with, with a couple of errors. When they carried in our half, they were strong. I thought their body heights were very good, and uh, we weren't able to get the jackals that they got against us. And the yellow card does put you under pressure. It get, lifts opposition, um, and that's where they, they cause damage. You've, you've won some big ones, you've lost some big ones. Where does this, is this, is this the sorest one you've ever had to take? Well... Probably Japan in the World Cup would be up there, but this, this is. This is a performance. This is Japan really was. Was it not? Not really, no. Okay, it's your opinion. Um, look, this is disappointing because you don't get to play New Zealand, and we've never beat them in our history. So when you when you play like that and get a a lead, um, then you obviously feel you should win the game, and we didn't. Yeah, uh, yellow card referee called it. Do you agree with I, I don't have an opinion on it. Were you surprised there was sort of two teams getting penalties and you were winning a lot of penalties for almost an hour and then it was suddenly utterly changed in the last 10 minutes? Yeah, and no, 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 that's, that's when you've got one man advantage and you're, you're playing in the um, in opposition half. I think uh, a lot of the penalties were around the ruck area and you can analyse them and say, was it really good play by them? Was it poor play by us? Or were their bodies in the way? Um, the referee obviously allowed that a contest and they got more penalties out of it than we did. Yeah, it was, it was obviously a big, uh, big occasion for Dodi, for his family, and it was a brilliant to hear the crowd um, show their appreciation. But we, we wanted to win the game for Doddy and we didn't. Yeah, they're all, they're they're okay. Um they've they've just got a literally the last minute. Um there's a lot of autographs to sign and family to to speak to. And we, we know we've we've got a game next week in six days, so they'll they'll quickly move on to that. What did you think of Ben's performance? I thought he was very good. Thought he um Defended well. Uh, his decision making around when to play, where to play, was was very good, uh, and his goal kicking was excellent. They did really well. I thought the lineup was a massive plus for us. I think Richie Gray has been a revelation the last two or three weeks, uh, and Fraser had to go longer than we were probably expecting given that we picked up a back row injury early on and um, we know Fraser could have covered there, so he put a huge effort for having not played at this level for a while.